G'day guys, happy, happy Sunday afternoon to you all. It's uh, just about 12 o'clock here in Auckland. Uh, beautiful sunny day. Um, and uh, I've just driven uh, from Tauranga uh, back up to Maramurua to our place and just heading up to Auckland um, to catch up with a couple of people and a couple of meetings and then heading to the gym. So what I wanted to do is, is um, have a bit of a chat. I've had a bit of an overwhelming response um, to these videos and which has been really, really good because I think I'm getting a message across that's really benefiting a lot of people, which is cool. It's not like I'm some guru. Um, I'm just speaking from the heart, speaking from what I've learned over the last uh, few years. Um, but I'm putting, uh, I'm trying to get a message across to, to help other people. And uh, what I've sort of come to the conclusion over the last few days, or actually over the last few years, is a lot of people are, are quite frustrated um, with their current position in life, okay? It might be, you know, various things that they're struggling with. It might be a relationship that not, they're not happy in. It might be uh, they're in a job um, that they're not, um, you know, enjoying. They might be not making enough money. Uh, they might be running a business uh, that's struggling. They might be um, making a lot of money, um, having a, having no time, um, and a lot of uh, they might be uh, not putting enough time into their health. Uh, they might not have any time to pursue their hobbies, or they just don't have the money to do a lot of these things. And uh, you know, it's really been drummed home to me over the last few days. G'day, Ethan. How are you, mate? Hamish, how are you, brother? Um, what's really been driven home to me, I've had, as I say, an overwhelming response with a lot of messages, emails, and things like that, in regards to a lot of people are just, especially when we get to sort of our late 20s, early 30s, in a lot of cases, um, a lot of people have sort of got to the peak in their career, um, their um, income levels are not going to rise that much in their job um, and if we've got into this sort of position in life um, G'day Lisa, how are you? Um, with people have got into this sort of situation of uh, life where they're settling for because um, what's happened is you know, I've, and I think I've talked about this in a previous video, when we're young or when we come straight out of school we've got these big aspirations, we want to go and paint the town red, we want to go and do this we want to go and do that and then we get our paycheck and we look at our paycheck and we go, well, okay, that's not really going to cut it. So now our trip to America now ends up being a trip to the Gold Coast or our, um, we might be uh, you know, wanting to buy a vehicle. Instead of buying a BMW, we buy a Toyota Corolla. And we start to, we start to suppress those goals and dreams down to suit where our income is. And I, I'm seeing it time and time again. I just caught up with an old friend there. Uh, down in Tauranga today and uh, you know in, in, in their case you know he probably hit the wall a little bit from a um, and a little bit frustrated with this where they with their situation so that he's sort of come into the looking zone as such or he's searching for um, some ideas of how to move forward and the, the, the thing is unless you know what it is that you want you're never going to, and I've, I'm going to talk about this in every single video I, video I do, because unless you understand the sort of lifestyle or you, you know what, what sort of house that you want to have, you uh, know the sort of car you want to drive, you know the amount of holidays you want to go on a year, you know the, um, the, the sort of partner you want to have, whatever the case may be, well, you, if, unless you have that stuff written down or you, you have clarity around that, you'll never ever achieve it. And the thing is, if you feel, if you're watching this video and you feel like you've hit a wall and, you, and you're just unsure about what the next step is, you know, you, ne you need to reach out, you need to ask for some advice. You need to you need to find someone that can help you go to the next level. And that's the, the biggest thing for me, because my ego was so, so big in, in the earlier days, asking other people for help, another guy asking another guy for help, for example, was... A pretty big deal for me 
but obviously over the years I've, I've paid for a heap of mentoring all this different stuff so I'm very open to that stuff today and that's why I've managed to be able to push through the pain and, and start to get some direction where I'm going with life and stuff so I'll ask you guys a question like I wrote in the in the little um, sentence before I put the video up you know are you living from pay to pay okay I do a lot of budgets with people like I sit down with people um, especially a lot of the guys on our networking team the young guys university students etc and, and and even people that are working full-time and I do um, help them budget where their, where their money's going and most people have absolutely got no surplus yet most people are living week to week pay to pay and they've actually got no surplus they might have a couple hundred bucks a week surplus after everything's paid and it's like they can never go on a holiday they can never do any of these things pay today more like it you know some people get paid and all the money's gone because they've got credit card debt you know and all the rest of it it's like how long do you want to be like that oh, I'd hate to be like that you know like money I don't love money okay I'm not a lover that's why I'm doing these videos I'm putting um, stuff out there for people to help them get out of a situation is because I really love helping people but until you've had money it, life's a lot better with money put it that way but it, it takes the pressure off what's one of the biggest causes of relationship breakdowns arguments money you know what what happens when people get into financial crisis you know they can't they lose their job whatever the case may be they can't pay their mortgage what's the biggest cause of that money the thing is with most people and most people out there in the world today are only they only have one income stream so they focus on one income stream whether it's in a job it might be one particular business it might be um, they might be a professional sports person whatever the case may be they've got tunnel vision around how they make their income so they're very limited so when things get stretched money gets tight in my case I've been into the situation before I had a major back injury in Australia I was lucky I had insurances and stuff in place and so and that covered a lot of the, the covered my ass really through that hard time but a lot of people get injured and now they can't go and work the job that they used to do they end up on ACC with a, a buggered back or whatever the case may be and they just stay on that they moan and bitch about it their entire life and don't actually get up and do anything different because they, they haven't controlled the way they think so if you're out there and you're living from pay to pay, week to week, year to year, and you don't feel like you're getting any traction, you need to ask for help. If you're in your late 20s to mid 30s and you've hit a wall and you don't feel like you're actually getting any more traction with life and moving forward, you need to reach out. You need to ask for help. Don't go through life being miserable. There was a guy, someone told me this story, and it was, it was about, he was saying, he was talking about this, this old dog sitting on this deck, and he's sitting on a nail. You know, the nail's making him uncomfortable, but the dog's so bloody lazy, he just keeps lying on this nail. He's uncomfortable, but not quite uncomfortable enough to get off and move. And that's how I see most people out there today. They're not willing to do what it takes to get off that nail and take the next step forwards to progress. So if, if you've got goals and dreams and aspirations that you want to achieve, don't be scared to step out and go and find someone that can help you get to the next level. I'm always looking for the next person to get me to the next level. You know, I've just taken on a, a, a mentor of lately, Lee Bundy from Team Mo, uh, Beast Mode in Australia, and I, I really related to what Lee was doing um, and the message he was putting across and what he was doing with his social media video stuff and I needed to learn how to do that, so I reached out, okay? I asked for help in that arena. Most people don't reach out. They're just too scared to ask for help or they're too just scared to go and pay some money because they don't have enough belief in themselves to make it work. See, I can easily go and pay money to a whole heap of business coaches, all these different people, and pay the money because I can back myself to get the job done because my belief system's up here. So you need to get an association with people that are going to help you move forward 
and it doesn't have to be all about not everyone wants to be a multi-millionaire okay i understand that some people are really happy and content with their life i understand that and i'm not having a dig at those guys out there that are happy in that situation i know many many people that are happy just working their job and, and living and, and living their life and how they want to live it okay and i i can can appreciate that but I'm not looking to talk to those people. I'm not looking to get the message across to those people. I'm looking to get the message across to the people that have had enough, that are looking to get to the next level, that are looking to find a way or find a direction to take the next step so then they can reach their goals and dreams. I'm looking to find those people. It's hard to read here. People need to value themselves. That's exactly right, Lee. You know, most, most people don't value themselves. They don't put any value on themselves because they've had the life, or they've had the shit kicked out of them, really. You know, life's tough at times. I know, I've been through some tough times in my life. And, uh, you know, it's like that uh, Rocky Balboa says in that movie, if you keep getting knocked, back, uh, knocked down, but you keep getting back up and keep moving forward. But most people fold. And most men out there today are all egotistical heroes on the outside, but really underneath all, all that, what they're just they're just scared, scared little boys, and they're, they're, they're worried about what other people think. They're, they're not willing to step out and actually have a go. They're too worried about the, what the outside world is saying instead of worrying about what they're in, inside them is saying. You know, Josh knew me when I was a livestock agent down in the uh, in the King Country and. Man, I was never into public speaking, doing live videos and all that sort of stuff at that point in time. I was petrified pulling up those farmers' driveways day after day after day. Day after day after day. Rejection after rejection after rejection. You know, that's not easy. But if you've got a reason to go and do something like that, it's easy to push through that pain. But the only reason you're going to ever push through the pain is going back to what I'm always saying, is what is it that you want out of your life? If you're that dog on the nail and, and you're uncomfortable, get up and start moving. Man, over the last few years, I don't know how many mates I've lost or uh, people I've known quite closely have, have died, car accidents, other accidents, suicide, whatever the case may be, sickness. You know, th this is, we've got a limited amount of time on this earth. Why are we cocking around, wasting our time, poking everything with a stick? It's like this live video stuff. If I'm going to do this, I, I, I'm all in. You know, and I know from the, by doing these videos, there's been people who have been messaging me and they've been saying that's really awesome what you're doing. So, yeah, but there'll be people on here that I'll, I'll be irritating right now, but that's fine. I'm not going to... I'm not going to be able to get the message across to everyone because not everyone's in that way of thinking right now. So, going back to what I said in the beginning, if you're living pay to pay, if you're living week to week, if you feel like you've got no direction in your life, if, you, uh, if you've hit a wall and you don't know how to break through it, you need to either reach out to me and I can lead you in the right direction. I can help you or I can lead you to some other people that can help you move forward. You need to get in You need to get in front or you need to get in association with people that are going to help you progress. I'm no guru. All I know is what I've done. But one thing that I have done, and everyone who knows me will tell you, when I've got an idea in my head, I just do it. I don't think about it, I don't pussyfoot around about it, I make a decision and do it. And I'm not saying that to talk about myself, I'm saying that to help you guys out there. For the ones that are the, sitting on the nail, on the deck, uncomfortable, but not willing to get up and move, now is your time to make that move and get up and start moving. You know, so many people I see over in Australia living the fly in, fly out life and all that sort of stuff. And they're working away from their families continually. And yes, there's, there's big gains to be had in that, but at what sacrifice? There's so many other ways out there. But you've got to educate yourself. And people are so tight, they're not willing to pay any money to anyone or, or learn. So that's why they never progress. But 
they're happy to go and spend thirty or forty thousand dollars on a university degree. That's just going to end up them being in a job and going pretty much being at square one. You know, all the guys I know that are multi-millionaires don't have any education, or if they do, it was only a Scott high school education. I've got no, I've got no education. I'm educated through all of the stuff that I've done through this personal growth, through the mentors, the other successful people I've had help me. Um, but from an education point of view, from the, the, the traditional education system, I've got nothing. But that education system doesn't teach you to think on your own two feet. It teaches you to be systemized and follow the rest of the sheep. So I'm going to end the video at this. I'm about to go into a, into a, uh, a meeting very shortly. I'm, I'm trying to get to Kingsland. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm lost. Um, but if you're one of those guys or girls out there that's a little bit frustrated where your situation is, um, you're not living your life to your full potential, you know that there's something inside of you that you want to do, you know that there's more inside of you, but you don't know how to... Um, get that message out or you don't know how to take that next step look flick me a message look I don't have all the answers but all I know is I know what I know and I know that the people I associate with know what they know and I know what it's done for me and in turn that can then go and help you so I'm just trying to get off the motorway here this is a bit of a nightmare um, So if you're one of those guys or girls out there that's in that position, like I said, step out. Don't settle for a. Eh? You know, most people are just going to settle for. Um, it's easy to do that. You know, it's easy to settle for. That's what everyone does. It's not easy to step out. Because what? As soon as you step out and you do crazy stuff like these videos, then what happens? People take a shot at you. But I say to the guys that take a shot at me. What are you up to? Because uh, there's always going to be the naysayers. But I use the naysayers as fuel. Fuel to help me progress, but also to help other people uh, help, help other people progress. So, as I said, I'm off to do a meeting now. So, great talking to you guys. I hope the message has helped. Live life to your full potential. Don't settle for second best. If you're going to run this race in life, run it to win. Don't run it to be average, because anyone can be average, and you're not average. Have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you soon.